Welcome back to Live Presentations, 7 Simple Steps to Your Speaking Success. Preparation does not change. Pick a stop date. Make friends with the stage. Before rapport. Stand and deliver. Two for the price of one. Nobody can see how you feel. You have probably complained about delivering virtual presentations and that you're much better speaking with a live audience. Now that you have the opportunity, you might very well be terrified. In case we have not had the pleasure of meeting, I am presentation skills expert Patricia Fripp. As your personal speech coach, it will be my pleasure to give you seven simple proven principles to set you up for success. First, preparation does not change. Your preparation is exactly the same as with a virtual presentation. The difference is you will not have a teleprompter or easy access to read your speaker notes in PowerPoint. This means prepare early and rehearse more. As with all other presentations, you want to sound conversational and not use any words that you would not in everyday team meetings and over lunch. The good news is, your audience does not know exactly what you intended to say. You have your visual aids to keep you on track and you will be speaking on a topic that you are very familiar with. Second, Pick a stop date. No more changes to your visuals or script. You will drive yourself and any support team crazy. Three, make friends with the stage. When nobody is in the room, go to the meeting room or convention hall where you will speak. Get on stage and stand and move where you plan to in your presentation. This is called blocking. When you do this a night before you speak, you will sleep better. In large venues such as Las Vegas hotels and convention centers, be confident you know exactly how to get from where you will be right before. Confidence comes when you are not adding unnecessary stress. 4. Before rapport. Once your computer is set up and you've tested your microphone, get off the stage and interact with your audience. The fact that you are interested in them will guarantee they will give you their attention at the beginning of your presentation. This has to do with the law of reciprocation. Psychologically, they feel obligated. This is true with those who see you interacting with others. However, your presentation content and delivery will earn their attention for the entire presentation. 5. Stand and deliver. Stand with firm feet equal distance apart and smile at your audience. Do not lean on the lectern or put weight on one foot. How you stand represents your, the stability of your company and message. Do not wander around aimlessly around the stage or platform. Everything we do adds to or distracts from our message. With technical presentations, this is especially important. Do not distract from your words with unnecessary movement. Yes, you can move. However, be strategic. Move on purpose and still look at the audience. Move on transition from one thought to the other or move on a specific movement phrase. As you walked into the room or if you were to walk in our corporate headquarters, when you deliver your most important points and your call for action, make sure you are standing still. At the end of your presentation, stand and smile and accept applause. The next question you might be asking is, what do I do with my hands? Do not put them in your pockets, behind your back, or have all your gestures mirror each other. In other words, add variety in your gestures. Have a default position that is waist level. 
Do not draw attention below your belt. If anything, bring attention with your gestures towards your face. You can always use your remote control to keep your hands together. Then let one of the hands move as it seems natural in your presentation. If you want to direct attention to your visuals, you can use one hand and follow with your eyes, and then you'll keep your hand up as a pointer and look back at the audience. Rehearse this when you are making friends with the stage. Six, two for the price of one. When you speak with a co-presenter, direct attention back to them with a gesture, perhaps a phrase, back to you, Jeremy. Work this out in advance so that everything looks seamless and professional. Seven, nobody can see how you feel. To feel nervous is natural. You are delivering a high stakes presentation. Your audience only sees how you act. You do not have to be perfect, just be personal. Remember the seven steps and you will be fine. Remember, you cannot begin preparing your presentation early enough. Then accept your applause and enjoy the experience. Nothing will help your career more than earning the reputation of becoming a powerful, persuasive presenter. Good luck.